In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in here basically label. You can see here we have a data label in here, but we also have a data label outside here. And this is very interesting because having these two is not a common option. So let's start to explore how we can do this in our pie chart. So let's start to explore how to show the data labels inside and outside the pie chart. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started to get the default code. So I'm going to scroll down here and copy this entire chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains it all. So I'm going to paste that in there. Once I did that, I'm going to just quickly replace the title, which is obviously not necessary for you, but for me it is. So once we have this here, you can see we have this bar chart, but I want to now convert it into a pie chart. Because it's a pie chart, I want to change the box or the chart box. So the width will be 500 because it will be a square shape. And then next here, this will be a pie chart. And finally, I'm going to remove the scales because a pie chart does not have any scales. Save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have this. And to make it work, we need to use a trick here. And that trick is based using two different plugins. First one will be the data labels plugin, and the other one will be the labels plugin for Chart.js. And you might say, if you've seen the labels plugin, it indicates that you can put inside some labels and outside. Sadly enough, the sample they showed was from a previous version, which is Chart.js 2. So if you're using Chart.js 2, you can do that with a single plugin. But if you're using Chart.js 3, it indicates there that there's an error or there's a bug for that, and they cannot figure it out yet. So that means that we're going to play with two specific plugins. The first one will be the CDNJS uh, Chart.js plugin data labels. So I'm just going to grab the latest version, which is version 2.0, copy the script tag here, and then we're going to load that script tag or paste that in here, in here after we have loaded the Chart.js library. And the reason why is the Chart.js library has sort of variables and constants that need to be loaded before this can activate so basically this has dependencies on whatever is in this chart yes library so if i save this now and what we can do here just quickly is to activate the plugin in the options here just below the options comma we say plugins and then we're going to say chart labels uh, or sorry chart data labels save that refresh there we are so now we have the first one here now, this is a very simple one because it will activate immediately the next one is called the charges plugin labels and then DV or Delta Delta Victor and this stands for the developer who basically grabbed this item and then redevelop it or continue to develop it from a older version so this is very important because this one only supports charges version 3 and you need an other version for that and to find the specific version here or at least this one here you need to look for this DV stands for David Violante or David Violante, it's one or the other. So basically here, this is the developer who who basically grabbed the original version, which was only in Chart.js 2, and then upgrade that for Chart.js 3. Here's a downside, it didn't support fully everything here. So somewhere here is an example, and then it shows, but it just doesn't support the inner and outer. So this is why we're using the trick here, because now we want to put in outer, and we use this specific a plugin for so to grab that all we have to do here is to get the CDN link here Just copy that and then what we're going to do here up we'll make sure that it loads so I'll paste it in there and then what I will say here is a script tag script for this all right and then here double quotation and then closing that and then closing the script so once we do that it will instantly trigger if I save this it will instantly trigger oh there you are so it takes some time because it needs to unpack because it's a uh, unpackaged item here if I'm not mistaken here unpackaged uh, item so that's why it took a few seconds to load but once it works then it will immediately activate however you can see here now we have two data labels or labels on top of each other so what we need to do here now is to reposition them so and this is a nice thing of the data labels or sorry not the data labels but the labels plugin the chart js plugin labels it will activate immediately without any plugin settings if you would do one here for example you would say here labels it will give an error i don't even know what is the official object name for that so we can just ignore this so what we have to do here now is let's refresh this 
start to push this out. So to push this out, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to indicate here. In the options, we have to do here plugins. And then I'm going to grab here the labels object. So in the labels object, we can then start to do a certain item. First of all, what I want to do is its percentage. And then So that is all right. So the next thing what I would like to do is to push it outside. And of course, if you want any other value, you can render them differently. Basically, it was render. And then here in render, we can say percentage. This is already default item, so it doesn't matter. But I'm just showing you here. Save that, refresh, you see nothing will happen. You can say here value, and if we do that, save that, refresh, then they're on top of each other, you can see that. All right, anyway, next. So what I want what I want to do next is basically getting the font color. So that's what we request was going to font color, font style. But I will not go too deep in there. I have a whole series for this one and for the chart JS data labels plugin, and I'm going to show you later on. I'm going to recommend you to watch them. It would be such a shame if you don't watch them because there are many videos explaining everything about both of these plugins. So what I want to do here, just very simple, just to get the color, I'm going to grab here the object. And this is very nice. With the data labels, or sorry, not the data labels, the labels plugin, we can just put an array here. And so I will just grab your data to data set index zero. And then we're going to grab here the not the background color, but the border color. So I'm going to go back here. You say data dot data sets index zero. And then here, border color. Once we do this, comma, if I save that, refresh, you can see here now we get these colors, but we have to push them outside now. All right, so the next thing what I want to do here is, well, maybe a font style, and just say here, bolder, just to make it a bit more easier to spot. And finally here, comma, and then we're going to say here, position, we want to position at the outside. So we're going to say outside. Save that, refresh, now it's here outside. So you might notice that it's hitting very close to this and here we're basically clipping off a certain text. So don't worry, we're going to work on that. So I'm going to put a comma here and then the next thing I will do here is, I'll say here first of all text margin, to give it a margin of six pixels, save that. There we are, although now we are away a bit from the item but this one is being clipped off, let's solve that now. So what we need basically is what we call a uh, a padding around the item itself. But we cannot do a CSS padding on the canvas. No, we need to do padding basically on the chart area. So to do that, all we're going to do here in the options, we indicate here layout. And in the layout, what we're going to do here is say padding. And we can do a padding of 10 pixels. That will mean that there will be padding 10 pixels, top, bottom, left, and right. If I refresh now, we can see here now we have this padding. And you can see here this text now is nicely visible. You can extend the padding if desired, but this is basically the way you can do it. So if you like this video, maybe you say, well, okay, I want to understand all of these features here. I have these two series here that I urge you to watch. One is about the chart yes, data labels plugin, where we can adjust anything, all the text, labels, anything you want, even font colors, font style, etc., etc. It's all in there. And of course, here we have the Chart.js plugin label series. And this one as well covers everything what you can do with that specific plugin. So I urge you to watch both of these plugin series so you know everything what you want to, so you can customize more advanced.